Back with you here from our network studios in the Battery, Atlanta. I'm Kevin McAlpin, tourist reporter for The Fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. Hope you're having a great weekend. If you're a Braves fan, it got off to a great start last night, 11-2 in Game 1 of this three-game series against the Phillies. Braves enter play tonight with a game-and-a-half lead in the division. They have a 15-11 and record overall. Meanwhile, the Phillies, with last night's loss, they fall to 9-13. and They are four games out of first place. Zach Wheeler will take on Robbie Erland tonight at 7.10 p.m. Eastern, and we'll tell you more about that matchup here in just a couple of moments. As I mentioned, 11-2 is your final in Game 1 of this three-game series last night. Seven of those 11 runs scored by the Braves came off the Phillies' bullpen, which, as we talked about yesterday, is on pace to be like historically bad this season. So the Phillies made a couple of moves last night, made a trade with the uh, Red Sox to try to shore up their pen, adding guys like Workman and Embry, who have been added to their roster today in a flurry of roster moves for the, uh, the Phillies here prior to Game 2 tonight. Uh, opposing relievers this season, they have had a tough go against the Braves. Uh, the Braves' offense has combined to post a 570 ERA among relievers that they have faced here this season. And how about the Braves? They've scored 135 total runs this season. 72 of 135 runs scored by the Braves this year have come off relievers. That is a remarkable statistic, and it goes to show you this team is always continuing to grind out at-bats no matter what the score may be, especially late in ball games. Braves went back-to-back -back for the first time last night. Travis Darno and Marcel Ozuna in a four-run third inning. For Darno, it marked his fourth homer of the year. Two of those four homers have come against Aaron Nola. Another one has come off to Jacob DeGrom, and the other one against Pablo Lopez. He has gone deep off of three of the best pitchers in this division this year. And again, for Ozuna, he has a multi-homer game. His ninth of his career, his first this season, he added a three-run shot in a seven-run fifth inning for the Braves last night. And how about Ozuna? 26 hits on the season. 12 of those 26 hits have gone for extra bases. Remarkable statistics uh, that Marcel Ozuna is putting up here in his first season in a Braves uniform. Max Freed got the win last night. He gave up a run over five innings worth of work. Again, it was a lopsided score, so a good chance for the Braves. Just get him out of there and not push him too hard. They need Max Freed because, as we know, there's been a lot of moving parts in this rotation here this season. How about a 132 ERA through six starts this year for Max Freed? He's a perfect 4-0 on the season. Third best ERA in all of baseball, trailing only Trevor Bauer and Shane Bieber. And Lance Lynn is not too far behind the Braves' southpaw. So that's a look at what you may have missed in last night's ball game. Game two of this three-game set is tonight. Robbie Erland will get his second start in a Brave uniform. It'll be his third appearance overall. Of course, he saw these Phillies on the last road trip. Last time we saw Erland on the mound, he tossed four scoreless innings in Miami on Sunday. Gave up one hit, no walks, and five strikeouts. Uh, lifetime against the Phillies, Erland's 1-1 one and one with a 3 ERA. It'll be his fourth career start against Philadelphia. And how about the numbers for, for Erland in his career? 332 innings pitched. He has struck out 263 batters and issued just 63 walks. So again, a guy you know is going to be in the zone. He's not going to walk anybody. He's going to attack. Not going to blow you away on the radar gun, but you know exactly what you're going to get. And for a rotation that has had some issues with walks here, to say the least this year, uh, having a guy like Erlin on the mound has to be a comforting feeling for Brian Snicker here tonight. Braves will face the Atlanta product Zach Wheeler, of course, the native of Smyrna, Georgia, and East Paulding High School. He's 3-0 and with a 281 ERA in his first season with the Phillies. Of course, he signed that big five-year, $118 million deal back in December. Uh, his last 10 starts going back to last August 30th, he's 5-1 one with a 2.19 ERA. Over that span, he's allowed three earned or fewer in all 10 of those starts, and he's allowed two earned or fewer in eight of those two, uh, eight of those 10 outings, I should say, and uh, two or fewer walks in nine consecutive starts. So again, that is a look at what's to come here tonight. Of course, we saw Christian Pache get his first career hit last night. Not in the lineup tonight. Marcel Ozuna is back in left field tonight for the Braves as uh, Matt Adams will DH Brian Snitker loading up on a couple of extra left-handed bats here tonight. And uh, we also will see Tyler Flowers behind the plate. Flowers 5-for-9 with a homer lifetime against the uh, Phillies right-hander Zach Wheeler. It'll be Jim Powell and Joe Simpson. They'll have you covered with the play-by-play -play action from Truist Park here at 7, 10 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, there's some clouds up there, but I think we should be able to get this one at least started on time tonight. Of course, we had an hour rain delay last night. I don't think that'll be the case here tonight. And also, if you're coming down to the Battery, a lot of folks hanging out in the Battery in the Plaza. 
coming down to watch the game tonight, go see our friends at the uh, Braves Clubhouse store. You can pick up a really sweet uh, spring training lid like I did recently. Of course, got that uh, gray shirt with the tomahawk on it and the Johnny O polo last time I went in there. So go see our friends over at the Braves Clubhouse store. They are open and follow them on social media at Braves Retail and they can uh, get you caught up to speed on all the very latest uh, new arrivals and anything else they have going on, specials, deals, game-used merchandise, game-used jerseys. Carlos Medina got the Ron Washington playoff uh, game-used jersey just a couple of weeks ago. Great stuff. Tell them we sent you from the Braves Radio Network, and they will take very good care of you. Again, it's the Braves and the Phillies, game two or three, coming up tonight at 710 Eastern. Jim Powell and Joe Simpson have the call. And then stick around immediately following the final out, as I will have you covered on the Hyundai Post Game Show and Braves Wrap-Up. Enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy the ball game. We'll talk to you afterwards right here on the Braves Radio Network.